remember who I played in that game, but I played a lot of MK10. It was cool. I never played it offline though, so I never really got very good. Playing games online only, I mean, you, it could it could make you good, but it doesn't make me good. Depends on the person. But it was fun talking shit. One thing you can always guarantee when we're talking about an NRS game, whether it be In Just Ass or More On Combat, you can promise it's going to be funny. Because those games are always so janky and the animations and decisions that they make are... I mean, from day one, do you remember the first... This day one for me really was the MK9 demo. The MK9 demo had two block infinites in it and one of which was just standing two over and over again for Johnny Cage one button over and over again on block that's it block infinite that was the beginning that's when Charles and I knew we we're in for years and years of hilarious bullshit then we started to discover things like there were no trading hits and if two attacks hit at the same exact time one player wins every time among endless like no double ko's variable frame data based on when you hit the block button and it just began there that's when they started coming out with the uh, injust ass and the wager system and they started making up all these characters like ocean man and watermelandra and then mk10 came out and Quan Chi and the Zero Issue Boys were there. And, I mean, it was just endless. Endless jokes, like, from beginning to end. Non-stop, good, classic humor. That's what you can count on with NRS games. And that's the only exciting thing about In Just Ass Part 2. The only exciting thing about that game is it's going to be funny. You can promise that. Definitely, it's going to be funny. Those were good times. It's fun making fun of Moron Combat and uh, Injust Ass. <laughs> 